which is about 40 kilometers north of the central business center in Bangkok. And it's a wonderful facility and we're all absolutely delighted that we can be here for three consecutive weeks of world-class badminton. Well, after that uh, first match, the mixed doubles and the home pair enjoying success, we turn our attention to men's doubles and it's the Olympic silver medalists Govi Shem and Tamui Kiong in their first uh, final at this level of event uh, since 2016 up against the number six seeds Li Yang and Wang Chilin of Chinese Taipei. After that, we'll have women's doubles, uh, then women's singles and men's singles to finish. But with men's doubles being our next final, a chance for us to look at the race to the World Tour finals. And I can tell you that uh, the pair in the final, Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin, number two at the moment, they'll go up to number one, whether they win or lose today's final. Ellis and Langridge will go up one place to number three. Ong Yu Sin and Tio Yi Yi, they were quarter-finalists here. They'll go up three places to number four. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Ewan, they'll also go up three places to number five. But where you ask are the uh, finalists in today's final. And I can tell you, Govi Shem and Tamui Kiong are currently at 30 on the list. But if they win, they'll go up 19 places to number 11. And if they're beaten in today's final, they'll only go up 16 places to number 14. But they're putting themselves in with a chance of qualifying for the World Tour Finals. Well, as far as the men's doubles draw is concerned, by quarterfinal stage, as you can see, three pairs from Malaysia, two from Indonesia. But look at the top half of the draw. No seeds in the top half. And look at the reigning world junior champions. They were promoted from the reserve list. Kanando and Martin made it all the way through to the semi-final stage. What an extraordinary run they had in this tournament. There was a thrilling battle in the bottom half of the draw in the semi-final stage, but uh, Li Yang and Wang Chilin coming through after losing the opening game against Choi Seo Gu and Siu Sung Jae, the left-hander. Please welcome Gok Wishem and Tan Wui Kyung from Malaysia. So the Malaysian pair of Gobi Shem and Tam Wee Kiong. That Olympic silver medal in Rio de Janeiro, where they had two match point Please opportunities, follow. but in the end lost to Fu Haifeng and Zhang Nan. And the last time they were in a major final like this was the Super Series finals as they were then, back in 2016 which they actually won, having won the Denmark Open Premier Super Series prior to that. But here are the number six seeds, Li Yang and Wang Chilin, led out by Wang Chilin. Well, it would be a wonderful birthday present for Wang Chilin because he turns 26 tomorrow. <laughs> It's a relatively new pairing from Chinese Taipei, but they've already enjoyed success and they've already enjoyed success against their opponents of today because this will be the third meeting between these two pairs. And I can Come tell you button, that button. this pair that we're looking at, Li Yang and Wang Chilin, have won both of them, but both their previous encounters were in three games. The last one, as you can see, was in the Indonesian Masters. In fact, it was the last 16 of the Indonesian Masters. That's second round on World Tour events. So, Wayana from Indonesia is our umpire for this one, and Abdul Latif Johari, also from Indonesia, will be the service judge. if you were with us a little bit earlier on Facebook, you would have heard us talking about this Malaysian pair, that they have so much talent and sometimes they don't live up to our personal <laughs> expectations. Yeah. yeah, as I always say, they are contenders <clears throat> in my book at any tournament. But so sometimes they're, they're just not 
doing the right things in my book and uh, yeah it's a shame but uh, they're really really good guys and they work hard and they're independent and it's not easy no not easy when you're independent over this last 12 months 31 years of age as you saw from Kuala Lumpur the Malaysian capital Tamwi Kiong is also 31 born in Mua in Johor and they as you can see were world number ones for 18 weeks at the end of 2016 and that's the period of time that I was talking about when they were last in a major final like this well in the first round they beat the number eight seeds their teammates Aaron Chia and Sui Yik, the beaten finalists at the All England Championships of 2019. Then beat Ben Lane and Sean Vendy in two straight games. Then uh, Go Si Fei and Izudin, also from Malaysia. Semi-final was that uh, one I was talking about on the with the World Junior Champions Fernando and Martin. It was only 29 minutes, and I'm going to ask more, more about that a little later because I'm sure you called that one, didn't I you? I did, yes. Yeah. So to Li Yang and Wang Chilin, six seeds. Li Yang is 25 years of age. He's been as high as seven, not only with his partner of today, 17 weeks before the rankings were frozen. He was also number seven on the world Ready, rankings with his former partner, Li Zhuhui. Wang Chi Lin, as I say, will celebrate his 26th birthday tomorrow. He's a tall man, as you can see, 186. That's just over six foot one. And in the first round, uh, this pair, who have been in very good form, in my opinion, beat the European champions in a repeat of the final from the Spain Masters last year. Astrup and Rasmussen in two straight games, then beat uh, Jomko and Kedrin, uh, then Ong and Tio had to save a game point in the opening game against the Malaysians in the quarterfinal, semi-final against the number seven <coughs> seeds, Sol Jie, uh, Seong Jie and Choi Sol Gu. Had to come from a game down 54 minutes in the end <laughs> for that semi-final victory. So the court officials I was telling you about. Ladies and gentlemen, to go. on my right, Li Yang, and Wang Xilin, Chinese Taipei. Hey! And on my left, Go Bisen and Tan Vi Kiong, Malaysia. Hey! Tan Vi Kiong to serve to Wang Xilin. The ball. Play. So the unseeded Malaysians nearest to us getting this final underway. Now we One. were chatting before Look. finals day began, Morton, about there's two players on court, Tam Wee Kiong and Li Yang, that we both feel are very much front court players and their form at the front of the court today could be a deciding factor. Yeah, it will be a fight uh, for initiative oh. at the front and uh, they are the two players two. going to control Look. it for the partnerships and uh, it's, it's going to be a battle. Tan Wee Kiong played extremely well yesterday against the two youngsters from uh, Indonesia, completely controlling the net. Hey! Uh, so, and One. I know that you, you said the same two. about uh, Li Yang in his semi-final yesterday. Yes. He, yes. he too did the same. Yeah. And uh, I, I still wonder, you know, I know it, we, the two Koreans, Seo Sung Jae, the left-hander who's playing two categories, playing the mixed doubles and the men's doubles. Somehow, I think perhaps the Korea needs to make a decision wow. on, on what category he should specialise in because uh, he seems to be running out of uh, you know steam uh, mm. when he's playing these two events. I thought in his men's doubles semi that he actually ran out psychologically, not physically. Okay. Yeah, you you, you called the yeah, match. Yeah, I did. I, yeah. I, I was just uh, you know watching it from distance. But um, yeah. 
Five, it just somehow, just a seven, thought. Four, one, yeah. Two, three. Five. Well, players from Chinese Taipei have only ever won two titles here at the Thailand Open. Obviously, Cho Tien Chen, the last men's singles championships here. And there was a mixed doubles title one in 2011 oh. by Li Sheng Mu oh. and Chen Yu Qian. Do you remember Three. them? They were a good yeah. pair. Bronze medalists at the 2010 World Championships yeah. in Paris. Li Sheng Mu, I, I really enjoyed his play. Yeah. Oh, oh. That's well taken off the top of the tape. Oh. Yeah, chances Three. are that uh, Li Yang and Wang Jilin slightly more solid, not making the same amount of mistakes. And uh, it's, it's all about for Shem and Kyung to oh. really start to oh. scoring points. Five. And go into Three. the attack because that's when they're playing their best. Four service four four called too high. He definitely caught Kobe Shem on that one. Try to look. Five. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a nice smash. Yeah, good Five. placement. Oh. Yeah, he's he's got a wonderful angle on his smash, this man, Kobe Shem, hasn't he? Oh. Yes. One of the hardest hitters in the game. Even despite the fact that he's now 31 years of age. I think we have to be fair about the Malaysians, Morton, because after the Olympics, I mean, going into the Rio Olympics, they weren't expected to uh, win a, bro uh, a silver medal. Uh, they had those chances and obviously didn't convert, but they both got married after they came back from Rio. They both had uh, family. family now. Life has changed a lot. And of course, with the COVID situation as independent players, no income oh. and perhaps added motivation to do well now. Oh, I'm sure Seven, they would like to add five. a few uh, dollars onto the account. No yeah. doubt about that. Yeah. Uh, but they have a nice training set up now with uh, Chu Chuneng, I think, with uh, Tiu Yi and uh, Ong Yi Sin as well. So the four of them are together on a daily day basis right. uh, with a good coach. And uh, they're setting themselves up nicely. And I, I must say, I do understand that they made the decision to leave uh, BAM because there was so much pressure on them. It was always... Uh, so high expectations on them and uh, I can understand that they maybe eventually say okay maybe we can do better outside oh. yeah and that's also giving a lot of good opportunities to other young players coming up in Malaysia on the BAM so it's a win-win situation I think yeah Nine, six, five. That's a great sound. Oh! Ten, six. That's a lovely, Five. lovely angle. 11, and it's a uh, handsome little lead here at the mid-game interval of the opening game. Five-point advantage to Li Yang and Wang Chilin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was very befitting. So what, what do you think the Malaysians should be doing here more? 
uh, is Tiwi Yi, who is the coach and uh, helping the partnership here. I, I, I think that they are, have been forced into a defensive situation and it's not their best. They have to try to see whether they can be more aggressive. Eleven, Control of the net, get the lift. It's difficult though because I, I was about to ask you, well, how do they do that? And with the Taipei pair serving so well at the moment, how do you get on top of it from the start of the rally? You see, he's having to, to return that in a slight upward direction. Yeah, it's going upwards. Yeah, but they've got to take the chance to play the block shots at the net. Even though that the opponent is standing there, you have to take that chance and play it. Of course, it's got to be tight, but you've got to play it. Okay. And if they're really moving forward and closing down the net, then you can just push it slightly far, uh, further away from the net and into that mid-court area, Service just over. behind the front player. Seven, 13. He really does read the front court area so well, as we've already been saying, Tam Wee Kyung. Did you notice who won the toss and who chose Four ends? Three. Yeah, uh, Malaysia won the toss and they chose to serve. And then uh, the uh, Chinese Taipei pair chose that side where they're standing now. Right. Oh, good angle. Yeah. See, this is this is one of the weaknesses for the Malaysian pair is that uh, Gobishem have a tendency in his defence to lift and only lift or play flat. He hardly ever play any block shots. And that means that if you attack Govishem, you know what's coming back. And that, is, uh, that can be very tricky for the Malaysian to overcome. Where uh, Tan Wikong is having a more variety in his defense. Yeah. And uh, 16, if I was the opponent, eight. of course, I would possibly attack Govishem because I know what's coming back. Turn of surf. Service over. Oh my goodness, what was he thinking about there? Did he think that was going long? He, he thought it was going long, yes. 17, 10. Oh, it's clearly in. I don't think the drift is as dramatic as no. it was yesterday. Yesterday was really, really bad actually. Yeah, that's nice work from Tam Wee Kiong. Service over. 11. 17. Hey! Oh! Service over. 
1811. And here we had yeah. three examples of what I just mentioned. Yeah. And the lift are getting shorter. It's going wide. Oh, it's taken it. Oh, well, it was a mishit on the clear from Tanwee Kyong, and it was a golden opportunity. Wow. Yeah, this is a surprise attack. That attacking clear, catching Tanwee Kyong off guard. Yeah, but look where Lee Yang is when he's playing this smash. Yeah. And he misses it. He's not happy, I can assure you. No. <laughs> Saw his expression. Good play by Go Vishim. Why the fuck this? 13, 18. Thank you. Uh. Yeah. On the floor. Yeah. So the floor first. 19, A little half volley there. Okay. Yeah, it's a better return of serve, isn't it? Yeah. 14, Down the centre. Yeah. Adding on good pressure there, Shem. But I think that uh, Wang Chilin and uh, Li Yang, they're very steady in what they're doing. They hardly 15, make any mistakes. I'm going to say 19. that because that's what I wanted to say. And then, of course, this mistake was coming. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think they have kept a very tight ship. Yeah. Oh, that's a pity from a Malaysian perspective. Service over 20, game point 15. So game point opportunities for the number six seeds, Li Yang and Wang Chilin. Oh, my goodness. Service over. Yeah, it went through him. Oh. Remarkably, Wang Chilin still got it back. 20. There's a lot of pressure on Shem's serve now. Play, to serve four in a row to catch up. Game. Second game point opportunity is converted by the number six seeds, Li Yang and Wang Chilin. First game one by Li Yang and Wang Chilin, 21-16. 21-16 confirms the umpire. In the opening game, very impressive by Li and Wang. 14 minutes only for game number one.
It's going to be tough to see how uh, Shem and Kyung can take this a second game. I think they are match in the uh, flat game, in the drive game, and uh, possibly overmatched when it comes to attack from uh, the pair from Chinese Taipei. They really score a lot of points on it. And uh, I think it's going to be a tall order for the two Malaysians to see if they can win this uh, second game. Li uh. Yang and Wang Chiling have been really solid in what they're doing. And that solid play Second game. served them well. One game to the good, 21-16, that opening game. Play. Yeah. Closing the net down once again. This One. time not by Li Yang, but by Wang, Wang Chilin. But still, the result is exactly the same. Lots and lots of pressure from the front of the court. On top of that, they are equally good when it comes to flat play. And when it comes to these attacking situations, I think that uh, the Chinese Taipei pairs yeah. definitely have an advantage. Yeah, they work well together, don't they? They have a good understanding. Good rotational play when necessary. Yeah, yeah that's good. That's what you want Malaysians to see more that of, that over. attacking play. Exactly, that's, uh, that's the only way forward for them. One, two. They're not going to win playing defensive. They have to go forward. They have to create initiative. What? All started with a good serve. Two. Oh. Yeah, that's an area where Tan Wikong definitely have improved over the years that's on his surf oh. three two oh my goodness Oh yes, that's well taken. Well, we've Three, been singing four. the praises of Li Yang and his front court play, but yeah. I'm telling you, <laughs> Wang Chilin's not too shabby at the front no, either, is he? I was going to say that he scored some good points up there, and this is really well placed as well from him. That's a good drive defence. That's an example of what you were talking Five, about. Tamwi Kiong can three. do that. He yeah. can drive. Yeah, he, he could have blocked it as well, but this is a beautiful drive right into the deep corner. Oh. One left. It's gone long. Yeah, way long. Service over. Four. Five. his best. Yeah, 
Yeah, they so cannot one, afford five, to be on the defence, the Malaysians, can they, for too long? No, the Chinese Taipei pair is uh, winning virtually every single time they are on the attack. Oh, mm, dear. Six, four. See this error. They're absolutely six. brilliant. Yeah, they are. And that's where we always think this huge potential is there. When they are playing at their best, when they are attacking, we see play like this and no one can do anything about it. Got to think about the sideways so grip. I just feel Eight. that. The Malaysians are allowing the Chinese Taipei pair to attack too much. Yeah, they have to step one step forward, move the base a little bit up, take their chances. Nine, seven. Oh yes, that's clever. That's a lovely change of pace. Service over. Eight. Nine. But the Malaysians are winning this rally because try to look at how Thank you. up to the front the base from the both of the players. They're standing very far front of the court and that's uh, giving them better chances. This block shot, as you mentioned, perfect. Oh. Hey. Service over. Ten, eight. So, to the mid-game interval, with a three-point advantage, Li Yang and Wang Chilin. And maybe time for a change of tactics, Morton? Yeah, we, we have been advocating, both of us, that, as I say, the Malaysian pairs move forward a little bit, move their base position up, um, go into the flat exchange, go into the fight, take control of it, don't lift it, play block shots, all that kind of things. But at the moment, they're, they're lifting too much, and every time they lift, 90% of the times they lift, they lose the round. Mm. 
I think he took his eye off the shuttle. He was looking to see where the gap was. Nine, Completely 11. missed it. A relatively new partnership, well, Lee Yang and Wang nine. Chilin. But they're already in their eighth final together. They made an incredible start when they formed their partnership at the Spain Masters of 2019. Four finals and three titles in their first to six tournaments yeah. together. They shot up into the top ten in yeah. no time. Yeah. And seeing them play so far today, I can understand why they are a top ten, ten. pair. Oh. Oh. Yeah, now that's good pressure. I like that. 11, targeting the four. big man Wang Chilin. Uh, uh, and it was nice variation. That was much flatter that time. Chilin have to be careful they're not getting a little bit too over eager I think they've kept a, a tight ship as I said earlier and uh, they just have to keep and maintain the same kind of pressure and uh, I think that could be enough for them if they suddenly become so over eager and, and start making mistakes taking a bit too many chances then you can open up that's just long do you think it's okay for them to get involved in those flat fast exchanges that we saw two rallies ago? Yeah, I, I think so. It's, it's a 50-50. Right. Um, and uh, as, as soon as they can force a lift, as I say, I think they have a 90% chance of winning it. Yeah. So um, right. just stay really focused, keep it simple. I think that's, that's the recipe. Oh, goodness. Played that off the floor. Oh, good clear. Yeah. Clever. Seen it before. Oh, it's, it's landed in. It's in, it's in. Oh, they're challenging. Yes. Well, I think it's in. Oh, so, what do you think? I yeah. thought it was in. Okay, then we're okay. If you're having a good week. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a good week when I was working with Steve. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> you put the kibosh on things. No, we're right. We're right. <laughs> challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 13 off. Play. Oh, oh. Uh. Hey. Oh. Yeah, that's good. He's really he's very, on. very competent and good what in all departments of the team. game, Wang Chilin, isn't he? He is. Very complete player. That's one left. Service over. 
14 of Oh, that's nice. Good angle. Very, very good angle from Wang Chi Lin. That is over. 15. If you look at it from a Malaysian point of view, I would like uh, Wee Kiong to take a little bit more responsibility in his defence um, and not lifting cross court when he's lifting and then giving Shem a lot of pressure on the straight one but rather lifting straight for himself and then perhaps by that be able to change it around and counter-attack it. Well, I like the idea. 16, 14. Trying to just mix up the pace. Service over, 15, 16. Oh. Play. Oh. Service over, what? 17, 15. Oh, oh, that's a beauty. Isn't that super? Reverse slice. Yes. Creating disguise and more importantly, keeping it straight. Yeah, look at how the Malaysians are covering the forehand side. Both of them. That's an excellent shot. Three point advantage and three points away from taking this title. Good return of serve from uh, Tan Wee Kiong. He's playing a simple block shot. Creating uh, the attack. Well, a little bit of disagreement while we were watching that again on as to whether the shuttle should be changed or not. Yeah, and Lee Young wanted to towel down as well, but denied by the umpire. That's well judged. Time is running out for the Malaysians because the play from 19, the number six seeds. 60. Well, you've spotted it very early on and said they were solid. Solid in all departments. They've been far more positive in this second game, the Malaysians, than I think they were in the first. Yes, and uh, I, I like how Li Yang is just moving forwards to cover the net straight away as the opportunity is there. He, he's missing it, but he's doing all the right things. Eighteen, nineteen. So now the pressure is on Shem's uh, serve. Oh. Oh. oh dear me. Yep. Service, over. service error. And it gives match two point. match point opportunities 18. to the number six seeds, Li Yang and Wang Chelin.
not this time. Service over. 1920. point. Oh, it's gone wide. Oh. The lucky net cord, I thought initially, was unlucky because it landed wide. Uh, we can, can't help but laughing. He's got no chance of reaching to that one. So 20 all, an extra points required. Ah! Well, well, well. From two match points 21. down, now Govan Shem and Tamwi Kiong have a point to level ah! this final at one game apiece. Ah! And I think there will be a serve in the tee and Shem got to be ready for the attack on the body. That's a good serve Service from Kyong. Mm. Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> over. 22, well, 21. obvious tension on court. Uh, psychology comes into play. Yeah. So one game apiece from two match points down. The unseeded Govi Shem and Tan Wee Kiong are right back in this final. Extraordinary. One game apiece and everything to play for. So back from the brink. Tamwe Kiong. Two match Double. points down, but here we are in a deciding game. Play. Run the match as well, this opening rally to the deciding game. 
Oh, that's a brilliant interception from Tamwe Kiong. One, love. That's just about saying possibly the only shot that Li Yang should not try. Anything else for that? Yeah, try to pass across on Tan Wee Kiong. Flat, that's, that's a little bit of a risky shot. Yeah, <laughs> longest rally. I was right. 55 shots. Oh yeah, good follow forward from Kiong. That is over. One, four. The lift from Kovi Shem was straight, so he was smashing. The smash was likely to come down on him again, which is what you were advocating in the second game. But they still didn't win the point. <laughs> yeah, I, I was saying that Tan Vi Kyung should lift Three. a little bit for himself. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah. Okay. So rather than he, he's he's very often going on on the backhand side, he's going cross. Right. Okay. And I thought maybe he'd lift straight uh, rather than cross and take the pressure himself. Like that, you know, he's he's playing more of these delicate shots. Oh, that's brilliant! Well, that's great awareness, great vision to see where the gap was from Tanwi Kiong. And the technical skills to be able to execute that. Brilliant. Service over. Four. Two. Oh, that's good reactions there from the Malaysians. Yeah, this can turn four. into a real thriller. Tan Wee Kong had a drive yesterday with his forehand cross court standing on the right side of the court. It was a magnificent shot. Yeah. He stepped right into it. Well, he may have missed it, but you want them to challenge at the, at the front there. They have to do that. Yeah. That's the only way forward, not to lift it, but really go up and challenge. But good shot here by Lee Young. Playing the shot very delicately. Nice, good control. Young creating good length on that lift despite and it clipped the tape. Four, five. I love Govi Shem's hang time when he lifts yeah. for a, yeah. a, a big smash. What? It just seems to hang in the air like a basketball player. <laughs> yes. Big pressure now. Yeah. Five. Oh. And once again, we saw it was Wee Kyung that was turning the defensive situation into an attacking situation. 
Thank you. Of course, the psychology comes into this now, Morton, doesn't it? Because uh, the Malaysians think, oh, we, we it could have been right. match over. We've got a second chance, so they're buoyed by that, whereas the pair from Chinese pay, Taipei must be thinking to themselves, how on earth did we not convert one of those two yes. match point opportunities? It's playing on their minds. Yeah. And all the sports psychologists Five. keep telling us all, you've got to put it behind you and focus <laughs> on the next point. But it's not so it's easy. It's not easy at all. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> Yeah, they can say whatever they want. <laughs> Not easy. No. Service over. Six. Oh. Yeah, the shot from Wang Chilin is too long. Should have landed at the mid court area. But went all the way to the back. Oh, that's, oh it's my back, goodness! It's back. Don't believe it. Well, how on earth did that rally continue as long as it did? Service over. Seven, six. And we young kind of thought, oh, I can get all the difficult ones back and I couldn't get this one back. Sure, that's what's going through his mind. Well finished off. Eight. I think he played that when it was slightly Eight. behind him, didn't he? So he did. An arch back. Yeah, that is athletic. Very good play. A good interception by Li Yang. Nine, six. We can, don't want to lift it, <laughs> trying to find the gap. Oh, really well covered by uh, Li Yang. Oh, just snatched at that one. Service trying over. to see how fierce Seven, the, the competition nine. is about gaining uh, initiative at the net. Return of service, many times a block shot now. And it's, it's, it's all sort of developing from there. Oh, service too high. Call too high. Service oh, over. Shem. Then seven. Oh, he's made two service errors and now it's a service fault. Uh, it's a perfect one. It's landing right on the two lines. Oh, yeah, I saw that as in. What well, did you reckon, Morton? Oh, that is I'm, close. I'm, I'm putting you on the spot here. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm putting my whole rep reputation, reputation on this, spot. Yeah. Yes, this yeah. week. Yes, um, I think it's in. I think you're right. Oh, no. Wow. You've jinxed me, Morton. I, I jinxed you. Challenge <laughs> <laughs> I'm successful. One challenge remaining. So yeah, it was close enough to warrant a challenge. Yes, no absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Play. Yes, a good serve. Ten. Wanted to try and play a positive Play. shot, but he just couldn't. So to the mid-game interval, so and the seeded combination, Li Yang and Wang Chilin have a two-point advantage. Well, that 
sort of score difference can easily be closed. And still, this match is very much to be played for. So it's all about getting a good start here 11, after the mid-game interval. Of course, that applies to both pairs. Play. So far, 10, 11. Yeah, Wang Chilin, when he's playing these kind of block shots, he's got to move with the block shot, not standing back as what he did here. He was playing the block shot, he's got to move with it and try to c take control of the net. Ah! Trying to look at this, he's getting far too late on it. Yeah, that's way out. Hard for Vishem to control that one. Slightly out of balance. We have a challenge from Tan Bi Kyung, I think it was. However, that seems to be quite far out the court. Yeah, that's way out. Yes. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 12. Stand. Play. Oh, yes. For a tall man, Wang Julin, he crouches down nicely ten. for those drives, doesn't he? He does. developed a great deal over the past few years. Oh, got back the net hole. Oh, it was yeah. the right idea. It certainly was. Service over. 11, 13. Bishem is doing well to keep the initiative. Oh, that's super. That was played on purpose, I can assure you. That little wow. teaser Kyung played. This one here, that's a teaser. Look how he's moving out and able to play the forehand on it. Yeah. That, that was so deliberate. So once again, just one point in it. Play.
Oh. Yeah. Hey! Uh, that was the option. Yeah, desperate travel. 14, 12. Got to try desperate measures. Yeah. Hey! Very nice defence from Wang Jilin. Mm. Driving that into the deep corner. From a little bit of a difficult situation. That was well played. Oh, that could be very costly indeed, you know, Morton. 15. Yeah, that could be the decider. Yeah. Getting ever closer to the goal. Four point advantage now. Ooh, he he thought was, about it. He, he was he considering. It. <laughs> he was. Yeah. Hardly playing. Seven over. So 13, 16. Jilin have to be a little bit careful, I think, because he, he doesn't follow his shots as much as I, I would like him to do on occasions. And he is really sort of having a lot of difficulties when these block shots are coming in front of him. Now that's Go! the sort of rotational play by the Service Chinese Taipei pair, pair yeah. that I was alluding 17, to earlier. Yes, 13. really well constructed. And now the lift. Yeah. That's well covered by Liu. Yeah. yeah, excellent play. Number six seeds from Taipei need to just keep themselves in check. I th thought the reaction after that rally by Wang Chilin, you haven't won this match yet. No, nope. many things can happen. Yeah. It was definitely an opportunity. 19, and it's an opportunity 13. missed by Tam Wee Kiong. He's played so well in the second and third games. That's a real shame from his perspective. Pretty much last chance, and now or never, 14, as far as the Malaysians are concerned. 19. Yeah, they lost five points in a row. Let's see, oh, yes, that's, that's what I'm sort of talking about. That these block shots in front of uh, Wang Chili are very, very effective. Okay. Yeah, he's very deep in his defensive stance, isn't he? And he's a big man. Always difficult for tall athletes to change direction. Oh, that's a good serve. I like that serve out wide. 19.
You know, that little celebration at 19.13 might come back to haunt the beast. Pair from Taipei. Yeah, you never know. Once again, it's on that Tang Kyung's serve. That the Malaysian are scoring lots of points. Ah! Oh. So it's it wasn't decisive with his next shot. Seemed slightly hesitant. And that error means that Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin have three more match point opportunities. They had two in the second game but couldn't convert. What a good shot. It's amazing reactions, isn't it? Yeah, and how he got it across. So, it's over. so can they survive another two? <laughs> just mm. like in the second game, you never know. He just turned that racket head at the last moment to play it cross court, didn't he? Well. Pressure by the scoreboards. Four match points have come and gone in total for Li Yang and Wang Chilin. Surely not. Not another one. No! This time Give. on their fifth no! match point opportunity. The number six seeds, Li Yang and Wang Che Lin, win this excellent men's doubles final against Govi Shem and Tam Wee Kiong. Mets won by Li Yang and Wang Che Lin. Well, a little 21, shake of the head 16, there from Tam Wee Kiong. And it takes 21, two pairs to make a good final. There's confirmation of how they did it. 21 16, 21 23, 21 19 in the deciding game. <laughs> one more, one more. Uh, so an hour and five minutes for their victory. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness, it was desperately close. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. It was a good match. Yeah. Very enjoyable. Rolling back and forth. Well, from an awful lot of fans' perspective, I think it's absolutely delightful to see Govi Shem and Tamwe Kion back to good form again. They're a hugely talented pair, but Li Yang and Wang Chilin were simply too good for them today. Yeah, just, just an edge. Great images. <laughs> you can call that celebration. Yeah. Crikey, my knees couldn't cope with that. <laughs> no, no, that. Just <laughs> watching it, it hurts my knees too. Wonderful <laughs> 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 scenes. So we make ourselves ready. So both pairs are invited forward to the prize presentation.
At this point, the organizing committee would like to call upon the guests of honors on the stage to present the prizes in this award ceremony. Mr. Joao Matush, BWL Vice President Euro. Mr. Ben Yonena Ma, Chairman of Yonex. Ms. Nora Perry, BWF Council Member. So the presentation party invited to come forward. The runner-up from men's double ways, Go Wee Shem and Tan Wee Kung from Malaysia. So the Malaysians, well, they will be mighty happy with their week's work here. And the champions of in men's Bangkok. double oh, of your next week Island to come, and they've got a chance Adol to qualify HSE. for the World Tour Finals. BWF World Tour Super 1000 is Lia and Wang Chulin from Chinese Taipei. But the champions are the number six seeds, Li Yang and Wang Chilin. Next, may I invite Mr. Joao Matu, BWF Vice President Euro, to present the medals. Yeah, players invited to take their medals themselves under the COVID protocols and hang them round their own necks. And now the winners invited to do likewise. Well, for Li Yang and Wang Chilin, the first Mr. ever Yama, Super 1000 or indeed 750 the title money. for them. Thirty-five thousand US dollars to the beaten finalists, and seventy-four thousand for the winners. It's a handsome payday for all the players participating Lastly, on finals day here Ms. at the Laura Yonex Perry, Thailand Open. BWF Council member to present the souvenirs. And this is Nora Perry. EWF Council member, two-time former world champion and former women's doubles partner of mine, presents the souvenirs to both pairs. Guests of honours to join for the session. So Li Yang and Wang Chilin, when the race to Bangkok rankings are published on Tuesday, will be top like of to the list. They will be number ones after Thank you very much this your next Thailand Open. You can't see whether they're smiling or not, can you? <laughs> <laughs> I think Lee Yang is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, He's also breathing quite heavily, <laughs> isn't he? He is. Yeah. So, as they take leave of centre stage, we can look forward to our next final of the day, which is women's doubles and Kitty Harakun and Thra Jongjai. The home pair and number seven seeds are up against the two-time former champions, Gracia Polly and Apriani Rahayu.
So welcome back to the Impact Complex. It's an exhibition centre, conference centre. The arena here is magnificent, as 